Known as one of the exotic tourist destinations in Indonesia, Bintan Island offers so many different exciting activities that you have to experience. Situated in the Riau Archipelago, it offers a range of activities such as snorkeling, diving, and water sports. Bintan also boasts luxurious resorts and golf courses, attracting both leisure travelers and avid golfers. With its natural beauty and diverse attractions, Bintan Island provides a relaxing and enjoyable getaway. Today, we are heading to Nirvana Resort Hotel in the Lagoy area where we will be staying for one day and one night. The most convenient way to travel between Singapore and Bintan is by ferry, as the two places are connected by sea. Our ferry to Bintan departs from the Tanamera Ferry Terminal in Singapore. After reaching the ferry terminal, we completed the check-in and immigration procedures. After an hour of waiting, we finally got on the ferry. The ferry was actually quite big, and almost full since it was a weekend. The ferry will transport passengers to the Bandar Bentan Telani Ferry Terminal in Bintan, with a total travel time of approximately one hour. After a duration of one hour on the ferry, we finally arrived at the Bandar Bentan Telani Ferry Terminal in Bintan. Once we finished the immigration process, we received a warm welcome from the resort staff who were waiting for us at the ferry terminal. They directed us to a bus that was arranged to transport us to our resort. It was convenient to know that our hotel provided complimentary pick-up and drop-off services from the ferry terminal. This bus ride was approximately 8 kilometers, and we arrived at the resort within 15 minutes. We decided to head directly to Dino Bistro for lunch after check-in. We were presented with an extensive menu offering various options. The food provided was of exceptional quality, and the service was also commendable. However the prices were slightly higher than expected. After enjoying a delicious and satisfying lunch, we made our way back to our garden view room to relax. After taking some time to relax in our room, 
we decided to go out to explore the expansive and visually appealing Nirvana Resort Hotel. The resort area was impressively vast and charming with stunning views of the South China Sea. Afterwards, we headed to the beach and enjoyed our time swimming in the sea and playing in the sand. The beach was nice and the relatively low number of people made it feel almost like our own private paradise. The resort looks absolutely stunning at night with all the beautiful lighting. After spending the day exploring the resort and the beach, we enjoyed our dinner at the poolside restaurant. The following morning, we headed to the restaurant to have our complimentary breakfast. The staffs were incredibly friendly and promptly seated us at a table. The service we received was outstanding. The buffet spread boasted an extensive selection of delicious items, and we were delighted to find a few live counters as well. After having breakfast, we decided to visit Cologne Seafood Restaurant. Although it was closed at that time, we still went to see the floating bridge. The restaurant is located around 3 kilometers from the resort, and there are shuttle buses available every 30 minutes for transportation to that place. Thank you.
The infinity pool at the Nirvana Resort was the final destination for us to relax and enjoy ourselves. We had an amazing time swimming and indulging in the pool's ambience. The overall experience at the Nirwana Resort Hotel was enjoyable. The hotel offered quality food, great amenities, and had friendly staff. The vast area for exploration was a plus. The only drawback was the slightly higher price of 160 Singapore dollars per night. Nevertheless, we still had a great stay. Thank you for watching this video. We hope to see you in our next adventure.